the wife of an Iowa Republican was recently arrested for voter fraud, and not just voter fraud, but massive voter fraud. According to Insider, an 11-page indictment from prosecutors alleged that Kim Fong Taylor had visited numerous households within the local Vietnamese community in Woodbury County, Iowa, where she had collected absentee ballots for people who were not present at the time. She was then alleged to have filled out and cast those ballots herself, causing the casting of votes in the names of residents who had no knowledge of and had not consented to the casting of their ballots. She is also accused of signing voter registration forms on behalf of residents who were not present. In all, prosecutors allege she had engaged in 26 counts of providing false information, voting, three counts of fraudulent registration, and 23 counts of fraudulent voting. Each count carries a maximum five-year prison sentence. 23 counts. Jesus. That is a lot of voter fraud. Now, unlike a lot of the other uh, voter fraud cases I've talked about, which dealt with uh, Trump in 2020, <clears throat> this one's actually a little bit more personal because it turns out her husband is a Republican politician by the name of Jeremy Taylor. Jeremy Taylor uh, ran in the 2020 JOP primary, primary for Iowa's 4th Congressional District, which at the time was represented by Steve King, the far-right politician with ties to white nationalists, this guy who would uh, just say all sorts of racist things. Let's put it that, oh, you can't uh, rebuild your civilization with someone else's babies. That guy. Uh, now, <clears throat> he didn't do very well. Uh, and by he, I mean Taylor. He ended up finish, finishing third, gener uh, garnering just over 6,400 votes. Didn't do that well in that election, but he did win a different election. This was a uh, fall 2020 general election where he ran as a Republican candidate for the Woodbury County Board of Supervisors. Good for him, I guess. Gee, I wonder, I wonder what the margin was. She voted for him 23 times. Now, look, on the one hand, you gotta admit, that's dedication. <laughs> like, you know she probably loves the guy if she's willing to, you know, risk having life in prison. 23, each carrying, again, they mentioned a five-year prison sentence. That is... Now, now of course, is she going to get the maximum? Very unlikely, right? But there's potential for spending the rest of your life in prison for how much fraud she had done. And, and by the way, thanks to, ironically, a lot of Republicans, they take fraud cases and punish them very, very severely. So that said, and what's uh, just even more sad about this is so her husband could be on the Woodbury County Board of Supervisors. I don't have anything against the good citizens of Woodbury. I'm just saying, is it worth that much potential prison time for that job? That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. But funny enough, I have a little bit of a theory, right? Um, now, this woman, um, she's a Vietnamese Im immigrant, okay? So she had met Taylor uh, while he was uh, teaching in Vietnam. So they get married. They got six kids now. Uh, she comes over. and She's a, you know, a United States citizen uh, thanks to uh, being married. So now the theory is, you know how Democrats, are, or I'm sorry, Republicans are always talking about Democrats doing massive voter fraud all the time? Oh, yeah, man, the voter fraud, they do the voter fraud all the time. There's so much fraud, so much fraud, and they never get caught. They never get caught at all. So I bet this woman thought, because of her different background, hmm, everybody always, they, they didn't know, uh, I, I, she didn't know how much politicians, especially Republican politicians, lie about voter fraud. So she probably thought, 
Oh, I, I could do voter fraud. Uh, my husband and his friends keep saying how easy, how easy it is to get away with it. Everybody always gets away with it here in, in this country. So, you know, and they all day I'll do it. So uh, why not? I'll never get caught. Oops. Again, that's my speculation. Just my speculation. Okay. Um, based on right wing rhetoric. Because again, if you listen to conservative media, it is wild. Absolutely wild. I mean, they think, oh, it's voter fraud everywhere. You got you got the voter fraud, and then you got the cities that are on fire literally burning to the ground while people are doing the massive fraud, and there's people being trans everywhere. Or in, in, in drag queens, everything's going crazy. 2,000 mules, 2,001 mules. Everybody's cheating. Nobody cares. It's a free for all. What? <laughs> I, they live in a completely different world, man. Where just everything is there to, to scare the crap out of you. But part of being in that world also for them is the end justifying the means. Because when you think everybody's cheating, well, then I guess we've got to cheat to beat the cheaters, right? It's the only way. Because we could never win it in an honest way. And in reality, that's kind of true. I, again, uh, the, the, the far right is massively outnumbered. The Republican Party knows that they have a problem with immigrants. They have a, a problem with, you know, black people. Uh, black voters, uh, they have a problem with young voters. And so for them, I mean, yeah, they do cheat, but they're rigging the system, changing the rules, restricting voters, doing that kind of thing. And then, of course, you have the random chuds that are doing voter fraud like this, and they get caught. So that said, I don't know what was in her head. I don't know why she did this, but I have heard enough wacko right-wing ideas on voter fraud and who's doing it they, they allege right uh that said according to court documents she's currently out on bail and i don't have a problem with that i very much doubt that this woman is a danger to her community <laughs> right um now that said if she were not the wife of a republican politician if she were someone who was poor, then yeah, she still would be in jail for this. And I do think that's a, an important thing to keep in mind. But as I keep saying, it ain't the left that's been doing the voter fraud. No, no. In the vast, vast majority of cases that we find, it's always the same kind of people. It's always right-wingers. <laughs>